All right, welcome inside the 2015 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. I'm Dave Erickson here at the 2015 Run to the Sun event and my co-pilot today, Shad Balk, with Corvette. And a uh, nice treat to be in this car, isn't it? It's not a bad place to be, that's for sure. Especially on these roads. Tell me some numbers about this car. I'm, I know I know it's Stingray, but there's more numbers behind that. Yeah, so this is the, the Corvette Stingray with the Z51 performance package. So that means it comes with brakes, exhaust, magnetic ride control, which is the heart of the suspension system on this car. Um, the ability to manipulate 12 different driving parameters, mm. whether you're on a touring road, a sport road, or all the way on a track, you can set the dial, the car tunes itself to the conditions, and basically transforms from an everyday street drive car all the way to a, a full performance track car. What kind of conditions? 12 different conditions? 12 different parameters. So it's anything, everything from your steering, your shift points, your throttle map, your exhaust, Okay. All of the performance metrics. What's under the hood? Under the hood is our 6.2 liter V8 engine, 455 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. It's a beast. Sounds like it. Do uh, you know any 0 to 60 times? Uh, let's see. It's to be determined. We'll figure it out for you for sure. But I think the um, some of the official ones are right in the low threes, 3.0. Wow. It's pretty quick. The audience for this monster. Who is it? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, certainly with the new style, uh, both the interior and exterior, it is attracting a, a younger, new demographic. So we're seeing new customers into the Chevy brand because of this car. Hmm. Um, it is sexy. You, I live in LA, and when you pull up to a stoplight in LA, you are the fastest and the best looking car on the road. And that's saying a lot for being in LA. So the demographic is changing. It's not a you know an old man's midlife crisis car. Mm -hmm. It is a full-fledged performance car. It's a supercar. <laughs> Especially with the size of engine here. Right, yeah, the big 6.2 liter engine, it actually sits behind the front axle line. So that obviously helps transfer weight to the rear, but also the gearboxes in the back over the rear end. So that allows for the perfect, the you know, the, the perfect point for handling and performance when you can have a 50-50 weight ratio in a car like this. What would you say is your favorite uh, performance vehicle on the GM line? this. Yeah? The, the, the Corvette Z06 is an amazing machine. To imagine a vehicle that has 200 more horsepower than we're sitting in right now. Yeah. I mean, you drive this and you hit the throttle and you think, well, that's enough. Uh -huh. I don't need anything more. But to know that the, <laughs> that the Z06 is out there with 200 more horsepower. And literally, it was taken, the engineers took the C7R, the race car, from the track and put next to it the street version, the Z06, and engineered it that closely together. So much is carried over from the race car into the car that we sell. It's pretty phenomenal. How do they keep it? 
how do they make that legal? Is there, are there some legal requirements or which makes it illegal to take it on a, on a road when people say it's road legal or street legal? Yeah, I mean, I think that's probably the biggest challenge for the engineers because they're basically taking the race car and detuning everything so that they can make it legal. Um, but that's it. Yeah, they have to make sure that there's all the safety features, um, that it withstands crash test ratings, uh, that it meets emission certifications and things like that. So the fact that they're able to do all of that and still have a performance car that has that sort of numbers coming out of it is a testament to just the genius of our engineers. So you see a lot of these in LA? More so than I ever have. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're they're popular. They're you look at it, you think, what is that an Italian car? What is that? Uh, it just looks so good. Well, wait a minute. You, it, does it look like an Italian car? Are people mistaking the Chevy brand with an Italian brand, or vice versa? Yeah, we're getting a lot of comments and feedback about how it does look like it's got some Italian Italian design influence into it. Hmm. Um, and you know, those the Ferraris, Lamborghinis, those are sort of the benchmark yeah. for performance supercars. So to be put into that category from just a design perspective, not to mention the performance perspective, we'll take it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're going to do a little bit of a startup here and take a look at the instrument cluster center stack of this beautiful machine. Push button start. Oh, I love that little roar, huh? Great color display here in the center. Looks like it might be an 8 inch uh, screen. And yes, touch screen. Climate controls down below. There's your automatic transmission. Different selectors here for for track. I'm going through it right now. Weather for s snowy weather, econ, touring, and sport mode. So that's all right there. And here you have your USB port, two of them there. Cigarette lighter, storage cup holders, instrument cluster, beautiful there. MPH in the left. Great information there in the center multi-informational display steering wheel mounted controls as usual we have a uh, cruise control there Bluetooth technology audio paddle shifters good stuff here the car we're sitting in now is yeah. it goes for about 67,000 with okay. the performance package it's the convertible of course mm -hmm. uh, and that gives you the dual exhaust it has the performance data recording system which is basically a, a data recorder with a, a camera, a HD camera mounted going forward that shows your driving conditions, but also overlays all your performance metrics. So the idea is oh. that when you do some track times, you can see how you drove, and actually there are a couple of al algorithms out there you could dump this data into and figure out where you could have gone faster, where you could have turned harder, braked later, all that kind of great stuff. So it's really a, a tool to enhance your on-track driving. I'm not sure if you recognize Shad, but uh, I saw Shad in a video with Jay Leno back in December Tell us what you were doing there and what car you were showcasing in his garage. Yeah, we were. At, uh, that was so much fun. We were at Jay Leno's garage. It was right before the launch of the Z06 convertible. Okay. So we gave Jay an early car, uh, and my job for the day was to go sit right seat with him because it was one of those cars that needed a GM employee in the seat. <laughs> so I didn't mind. Uh, but that guy is just amazing. He took it through some of the most amazing mountain roads in Burbank, California, right behind his studio, and he loved it. I mean, you could see in in his video that he he was all about it it's a, that's an amazing amazing car itself i don't know if it's me being a a i'm starstruck but you're there with jay leno the tonight show the jay leno and now he's he's, he's we, we know his history with cars and his fascination with them but was there an aura about him when you're standing next to him or he, was he a regular dude he's a regular dude that's the best part is he brings it right back down to the cars i mean the car was the star of the show yeah. that was the best part was that he had respect for the car we were talking about the shift points and how it compares to some of the german imports um so it was it was a fun time and he really appreciated the car gosh check that out on you know what channel is it on his channel it's on his channel uh okay. jay leno's garage .com. yeah and now he's got a tv show he does yeah uh, i think he does tries to do a couple things maybe once a week i think right possibly yeah, yeah yeah so hopefully we'll get some some more studio time with him that was cool